In previous video, we went through uh, Fire installing Firebase in our application, and today what we're gonna do is add the sign up and sign in features using Firebase authentication. But before uh, before doing that, we'll need to have a look at states. If we head over to the React Native documentation, uh, you can just type in states here in the search bar, and the description that's provided here it says states are uh, React Native objects that are used to hold data. So states can be used to help determine what our UI should look like and what uh, what to do uh, with our UI when, state, when the state is updated. So in this case, in our application, we'll need a state that will hold the email address on the sign-in page and the password. And then for our sign-up page, we'll need a state that will hold the full name, email, mobile number, password, and uh, confirmation password. So to do that, uh, at the very top here, we're going to import use state. Okay, so this is in our sign up page. Uh, so let's first create the state for our full name. So to do that, we're going to say const, and then you're going to name your state variable. In this case, it's going to be full name, full name, and then the second uh, value in the array will be a function that will update our state. So in this case, we'll name it set full name, and then we'll say use state, and then here we can add an initial value. Uh, we'll make it blank. So now, if we go back to our documentation on text inputs, we can specify the value of the text input. So in this case, our full name the value there will be full name. So if I now go back to the application, as you can see, full name is empty. But uh, when I update or change the value of the state here, let's say J, you'll see it also changes there as well. So whenever we update our state, uh, it should reflect here as well. So for now, We'll need a function uh, that updates this full name every time someone types in uh, their full name in this uh, text input here. So to do that, we just go back to our documentation, and uh, the function that we need is on change text. So we add it on change text there. Then we can just write out the function here. Uh, let's call it full name change. Okay. And our function will receive a value that will be used to uh, set the state there. Just go back to the documentation. Let's see. Okay. So set. So to set the value of our our full name here for this state, we'll just use this second um, value of our array, which will be set full name, and that will uh, set or update our full name state. So just say value, and because we set uh, the full name value to full name. That means every time we update this, then it should also reflect in our text input. Okay, so let's see now. Okay, so as you can see, as you type, it will just set the full name and and it will display in the text input as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create the rest of the states for each input on our uh, sign up page. So email address, mobile, password, and confirm password. Okay, so now that is done. Uh, 
we can go ahead and create a new user using Firebase. And as you can see, no validation has been added for now. Uh, that will be added in the next uh, set of videos. But if we go back to our Firebase project, as you can see, there are no users in this project yet. So to create a new user, we can just add a new function. Uh, let's call it create user. And to create the new user, so we imported Firebase from the previous video here. I mean, from the Firebase uh, folder in the previous video. So we can go ahead and go Firebase. And then it will be uh, auth dot create user with password. So in this case, uh, we'll pass in the email, which will be in our state here. So what's going to happen, obviously, you'll first have to validate that the user has actually uh, entered an email address so you'll check if this state is actually uh, not empty and then you'll also check uh, that all the other parameters are also valid so it's email and then our password will be the password state so and then you can just say in okay but in this case, obviously, we're not going to do any validation. I just want to uh, show you how states work. So we'll call our create user method once the user clicks on the button, which is our touchable opacity at the very bottom. So this by the sign up button here. So when that's pressed, then we'll run uh, create user. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have an added validation to our form at the moment, so it won't give any error if none of these are actually entered in. So let's go ahead and click sign up. And as you can see now, we have uh, the user here in our Firebase application. So that's basically the basics of states and using Firebase in React Native. And you can import the rest of Firebase features, like Firestore and everything from this Firebase uh, function that was imported here.